This Great Day St. Louis kitchen segment is brought to you by More for Less Remodeling. Get more for less. While the hill is the heart of St. Louis's Italian heritage, the love for Italian food spreads all throughout the region with plenty of amazing options for you to celebrate Italian American Heritage and Culture Month in October. Our good buddy and dining editor of St. Louis Magazine, George Mayhe, is in the kitchen sponsored by More for Less Remodeling with some of his favorite dishes from three Italian restaurants, which had to be the hardest job in the world. Because there's so many. Aren't there? But I thought we'd get a jump on Italian mm -hmm. Heritage Month and feature a couple of them. Different price points, different parts of town. And yeah, it was hard to do, but but here we go. We'll start in Clayton with Il Palato, which Fantastic. is the southern edge of Clayton, a little mm -hmm. bit off downtown Clayton, which is good and bad. You know, there's it's just a great restaurant, but it's quiet and it's serene and it's, I like to say, civilized. And uh, beautiful inside, just beautiful decorations, light colors. And again, there's there's a great Italian food there. Mike Del Pietro is the owner, mm -hmm. and he will be there most of the time. And he's probably one of the best hospitality professionals in town. It always makes you feel good. Too. And he will he will make sure that you have a perfect mm -hmm. time. He's just a great guy. So this is a this is a classic pork mil milanese. It looks fantastic. And you take that pork chop and pound it out. There's mm -hmm. a little uh, butter and uh, caper sauce on there. A little. Uh, arugula salad to kind of break everything up. So that's that's just a classic item. And this is a, this is one of their newer items, which I just love: grilled shrimp mm -hmm. and lobster on fresh made capellini. And lobster, wow! And lobster. Mm -hmm. I'll be ordering that. Em emphasis on the lobster, mm -hmm. and we've got a little uh, little pepper sauce that goes on there. Anyway, this is this is just a beautiful item. Um, They've got, uh, you know, and for as nice as a place it is, it's not that expensive. Yeah. There's a wine room down, uh, downstairs that nobody knows about for 18 people. Mm -hmm. A great little patio. Anyway, hanging out on the southern edge of Clayton, don't miss Il Palato. And then moving to the central west end, Adera. Adera. Adera's been there for a while mm -hmm. as well. And everybody knows Adera by that courtyard patio yes, in back. it's beautiful. Uh, pretty much a pizza pasta restaurant, which is what I brought today. This is a Capicola uh, pizza that's got uh, some, we've got some pickled fennel that goes on there too. But Capicola, also known as Copa, also known as Gabagool, if you're a, a Sopranos fan. I had to look that up when I heard here Tony Soprano talking about Gabagool. Yeah, but what it's, are we talking about it's, here? It's Capicola, it's Copa. Mm -hmm. So we, we do that and then we can put a little arugula with some grana padano on top is how it comes. It's it's just a really good uh, pizza item. It's, it's got a lot of flavors going on. Telegio cheese, which is a little bit different than, it's got a little more going on than mozzarella. Really good, I mean, you can tell how, how beautiful it is you just by it looking at so it. You fancy. <laughs> it is. So this is Casa Reche pasta. Okay. Again, homemade. They look like little scrolls. Yeah. It's got some kale, it's got some shrimp, mm -hmm. it's got some fall delicata squash. And this is just another beautiful item. My husband would be ordering this I mean, this isn't one. that just a beautiful mm -hmm. thing? It is. So, so the chef, uh, Andrew Simon, is uh, he's over in Paris right now. Ooh. And he is doing, he's coming back to do one of his famous uh, 48 MP dinners, 48 Maryland Plaza. These are his special dinners. The next one's called An Evening in Paris. And he's over in Paris getting inspired for the next dinner. So when is that one I think happening? that's October 12th. Okay. That is. I need that, to get the babysitter for that. That is worth going to. And he's going to do these every month and he also does the uh, you know they've also got those really cool igloos that mm -hmm. they're getting ready to you know those outside igloos right. have you ever done that dinner? So you can enjoy it as we go into the winter month. Through the winter month mm -hmm. it's one of the hardest tickets in town and one of the best experiences in St. Louis And for as sure. we wrap it up Ricardo's close to the riverfront. Ricardo's uh, in, in near North Riverfront used to be in Lafayette Square they've revitalized it re-energized it and reintroduced it mm -hmm. up in the near north neighborhood classic items lasagna yeah. This is one of their, they asked, you know, which items should we bring back? And everybody practically mentioned every item off the old menu. So this is a seafood stuffed cannelloni, oh. lobster, shrimp, scallops, and there's a kind of a mushroom uh, sauce there. But again, this, this so is just good. a, you know, mm -hmm. how can that be bad? This is one of the best items on the menu. Great place. They're revitalizing the near north just like they did Lafayette Square in the late 80s. So this is a place that, again, another sleeper place that's sitting up there on the near north side. We are going to dig in. And friends, if you are a foodie like me, be sure to sign up for this guy's dining newsletter. It comes out weekly on Friday mornings or tune into George's podcast called Arch Eats. Mm. So much going on. Mm.
so much to say. Not enough time to say it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, still to come 